My name is Paul. And I'm Darren. This is Darren. And we're in a band called Mute Path. Indeed. Thus far, the tour is going great. This is the last show of the first half of the tour. We've split it up in two chunks. So after tonight, we get to go home, be with our families for a week, and uh, nurse our wounds, and come back all the stronger. But we've had a blast. I, I personally, it's been my favorite tour. The record's been a lot of fun to play live. On this tour, we're playing the whole entire record, um, which is the first time we've, we've done that. Even for our first record, we never played the whole record when we first started touring. So it's been nice to play a whole record in its entirety, um, along with a lot of old songs. So this is a pretty hefty set we've been playing. I think it's 27 songs in the show. Yeah, last night they, they kicked us out. They kicked us out of the club because we played, we played too long. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let us keep going. A big part of the concept for this tour has been to um, kind of turn the venue more into a stage instead of just doing a thing on stage, trying to let it bleed out more on onto the audience. So there's a lot of um, bleeding out onto the audience. Bleeding out, that actually, <laughs> yeah, happens. And uh, we're doing this video map and stuff, which is a it's a nice dynamic to go with the music. So um, you know, when you're playing 27 songs, I guess um, trying to make an eventful journey, so it doesn't get uh, just where we at, um, but, but it's been really fun, yeah. It's a, a lot of happy people leaving the show, so uh, it's a good sign. What we did do on this particular record is we tried to look at what we did best and play to our strengths. And we tried to, we tried to make, I mean, I, I've always thought that we were a good live show. I always thought that our songs got better whenever we played them live and we started to, um, you know, mold them to fit into the live setting. So we tried to do that in the front end this time. We tried to do that before the record was finished. Make the songs live ready. And, and we, I think sometimes whenever we get stuck in the studio too, we would use what would we do live as a way to solve those problems, you know, as, as a litmus test for what would work or not. It was also really nice to not have a producer. That was the big thing. Uh, not having a producer, making the album on our own, made all the difference in the world. Now we had people that, we, that helped us. We, we brought in people for advice from time to time, or engineers, or to the other people helped us mix the record and whatnot. But by and large, we were on our own, often just Paul and me. Most of the time, Roy was with us too. And, um, and it, that made all the difference for me. I'm really glad we got to play Conan's show before it moved. Yeah. Like that, that was a really uh, historic moment for us. And we grew up watching Conan. Yeah, and, and the guest was particular. Anthony Hopkins that day. It was. That was the coolest guest. That was lovely. Yeah. Miss Piggy. Miss Piggy? Well, Miss Piggy on Leno, that was pretty special. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Share the show with her. Yeah. Those were the two coolest guests we've been on the show with. He, he came out and met us afterwards and just gave us like, this little after show. He entertained us, he did jokes for us for a minute. He was awesome. He was great. And wasn't he cool? Conan, he was cool with us. Yeah, Conan's, Conan's certainly a non-stop show. It's pretty, pretty amazing to watch. We are scheduled to take a, a nice, exciting trip to Australia for three weeks. That's where we head after this. It'll be our first time there. Yeah. It should be really nice. Um, I think the goal for this year is to try to bring the show to as many places as possible, especially ones that we've not been to before. So, um, so we're working on all of that. Yeah.